Okay, so SteamOS, the operating system that runs on the portable Steam Deck, works really well on mini PCs and also full-size PCs as well. Not every device supports it, but if your device does support it, actually it's really good. So this is some of the games that I've installed on here. And the added bonus is, so say GTA Vice City, which is a very old game, with Windows 11, I haven't had it playing for quite a while. There's all sorts of fixes. I've tried them, couldn't get it to work. On this, because it's designed to work on the Steam Deck, people have already done the work. And so it installs the right compatibility layers and various different things, and it just loads up and works perfectly fine. So let's have a very quick look at it, but then we'll go straight into the tutorial and show you exactly how to install it. Damn it, Vasetti. So this is a very old game. It's on the highest settings it will possibly run on, and it looks great and runs absolutely fine. And as I say, because this is such an old game, it really has trouble working with Windows 11 and just doesn't start for me. So let's quit out of this, and we'll have a look at how to install it. So let's shut this down. And I can take the side panel off. And what I'm gonna do is take out this NVMe drive. So this has got SteamOS installed on it, but I'm gonna put this back to the state that it was as an original Windows 11 PC. So let's remove this drive. And pop Windows 11 in. So this is back to as it was. Now I'm gonna start this up, pressing F7. It may be different on different machines, and I'm gonna go into Enter Setup, and under Security, I'm gonna enable Secure Boot, which is how this computer was when I first had it. So let's F4 to save that, and hopefully this should boot back into Windows 11. Yeah, Windows is booting up, and I can log in. And we're gonna go onto the web browser, and we'll type in install Steam OS. So installing and customizing Steam OS. So you can see here the hardware requirements, so Intel or AMD, four gig or more. So very low requirements, Nvidia or AMD graphics card or even Intel graphics. And I'm using integrated AMD graphics. Now it's funny here because it says this image is not compatible with Steam Deck. Well actually if you download the Steam Deck recovery file, it's the same link but they are working to make this work with other machines. So this is the one I use. So download the SteamOS installation, tick the box and download. And I'll just save that in my downloads folder. And while it's doing that, I'm also gonna download Rufus. So you can see here, Rufus create bootable USB drives and I'm just gonna pick the standard Windows version and also save that in the Downloads folder and come back when that's all done. So now if I go to my Downloads folder, I'm gonna right click on the Steam Deck download and extract all and extract. This will take a while depending on your device. Okay, so that's all done. So let's go back to Downloads and we're gonna run Rufus. And yes, I'm gonna say no to this. So now what we need to do is select the SteamOS ISO that we downloaded. So hit select, go to your downloads folder and it's inside this folder. So this is the zip one. We want the one that's been unpacked. And this is the image. So let's hit open. Pop a USB stick in, this one's a 64 gig, but you only need 16 gig, it says in the instructions. So let's pop that in. You can see at the top here, this D drive is my 64 gig stick. So that's already selected as it's the only device writable in this system at the moment. And let's hit start and okay. This will write over everything that's on the USB stick and then come back when that's all done. Okay, that's all finished. So let's close everything down and shut down the computer. Now I think the safest thing to do now is to remove the Windows installation. So what I'm gonna do is take this NVMe out with Windows 11 on it. There we go. And I'm gonna pop this 256 drive in. It doesn't fit right because I haven't got a screw for it, but I'm not gonna worry about that. And I'm gonna boot up 
and I'm going to tap F7. And we need to go into Setup and look for Secure Boot. Now on, on this one it's under Security and you can see Secure Boot. So it was enabled for Windows 11. It depends on the device, it may or may not be enabled but it needs to be disabled to install SteamOS. So hit Disable and if we go back and I'm going to save and exit. This is it, trying to boot Linux for the first time. And I definitely had mixed results on other devices. And this is it successfully booting into Linux. And it will talk to you about KDE Plasma, which is my favorite graphical user interface on Linux. So let's skip through all of that. And you see you've got loads of options at the top here. Re-image Steam Deck, reinstall Steam OS, terminal with repair tools. But this is an operating system you can actually use even at the moment. But it's not installed, it's still on the USB stick. So to install it, you go for re-image Steam Deck. So double click that. This action will re-image the Steam Deck. This will permanently destroy all data on your Steam Deck and reinstall Steam OS. This cannot be undone. So this is the reason I said to take out the Windows drive because you don't want to overwrite Windows unless you do want to overwrite Windows and then you could have left the Windows drive in and just let it put SteamOS on that drive and just erase everything. So I'm going to hit proceed and let it do its thing. So that didn't take very long at all, only a few minutes. Choose proceed to reboot the Steam Deck now. So I'm going to hit proceed. Nice SteamOS logo, and you can see all of this is pretty logical. I'm going to use a controller for this, but you can use mouse and keyboard. So I've got an Xbox 360 controller. And time zone, I've got a wired connection in mine. And just let it do its update. As it says on screen, this may take some time. Pay no attention to how many seconds are remaining, it means nothing. As you can see, it's just gone up. And more than 11 minutes after it said one second remaining, it's still going. Uh, but not to worry, it is definitely still working. At least we've got that line going up to show us the progress. So that did take quite a while, but eventually it got there. So now what I can do is hold my camera up and launch the Steam app. Just use my face to unlock and that will sign me in. Sign into Steam. Such a clever system this. And we're in. Welcome to Steam Deck, sort of. So that's to show you the installation, but I've already installed a load of games on this 512 disc, so I'm going to put that back into the tower. Let's restart. All PCs should do this with magnets. And I could put the Windows drive in, because you see I've got two NVMe slots, but because SteamOS works with Secure Boot disabled, and this version of Windows 11 needs it enabled, it means that I'll have to keep switching the BIOS. So what I'd probably do is just do a clean install with Windows 11 without Secure Boot, and then I could boot into whichever operating system I wanted. But for now, let's concentrate on SteamOS. Now I think the good reason to use this is because if you've got it plugged into a TV it works very well with a controller and you really don't need mouse and keyboard. It's designed to work without that but mouse and keyboard is still there. But it's very easy to just click on a game and hit install and it just starts to install and while it's doing that if I press the Xbox button I can go into the library and I can start playing one of the other games that's on here. So say for instance this Hot Shot Racing. I can't remember if this was free, I think it was. It's pretty cool. Very nice arcadey gameplay. We'll just do a single race. And it's really responsive, the power sliding is cool. Yeah, I really like it. I would definitely play this again. Multiplay would be good on it. And it's got a boost. I don't know if I've got any boost yet. I might have, maybe I have. Yeah, I have. The boost is cool.
yeah, very logical to quit out, very logical to go back into your library and find a game. I was playing a bit of Duke Nukem, which I think I paid for recently. There was an offer on this. I love the graphics on this. And these guns are terrible. Oh, he's still going. Now we've got a better gun. But yeah, definitely working absolutely fine. What was that? Oh, here we go. Bit of Tomb Raider, something with a bit better graphics. Oh, and it remembers from me playing it on something else. So as you can see, looking very nice. Do like the bow and arrow in this. Yeah, that feels lovely and smooth. Oh. Now it's worth mentioning there are some big games that don't work through Steam. Uh, so if I say for instance go for FC24 which I've got on here. So if you hit install, see it's unsupported and that's because of an anti-cheat system. Same with Fortnite, same with I think PUBG as well. So if I go install, yeah, which is, which is a bit of a setback, but there are still loads and loads of games you can play. But also, if there's a game that's not available through Steam or you bought it through another system, if you quit out, so we go power and switch to desktop, because this is running Linux, we can install things through the Discover Store. So if I launch the Discover Store and do a search for Lutris, this is a way of playing Windows games on Linux, but it also works with various different stores as well, because sometimes you need uh, a store like Ubisoft or Epic Games to be able to install the game. But also we go to games and emulators. You've got all sorts on here, N64, PSP, RetroArch, obviously multi-game emulator system, GameCube and Wii, Nintendo Wii U, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation, PS2, Xbox, PS3, and that one at the top that I'm not going to mention. Yeah, loads of choice. So if we launch Lutris, you can see uh, good old games, Epic Game Store, EA, Ubisoft, Steam, to fill in some of those gaps. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.